Hi guys, this is Denise and today I'll teach you how to install WordPress manually in your domain. Uh, in particular, I will be teaching you first how to install or to, to add a subdomain in your host. And because my main domain is hosted in HostGator, that's where I'm going to show you. Then we will manually install WordPress, WordPress plugin in your subdomain. So first, I want to... Um, let you guys know that um, the C panel of every host is somewhat similar, so um, there's no need for you to to be worried about. Uh, for as long as you you follow the the procedure, you'll be okay. First thing that we need to do is to download the WordPress plugin. Just go to their website; it's WordPress.org, and once you are in the website, you can see this blue button. Just click it. And then from here, you can download the latest version. So before I recorded the video, I've already um, downloaded the, the plugin. So now let me proceed you on how to adding a subdomain in HostGator. So you have to get logged in into your HostGator account. And then when you can see your dashboard, just click the launch cPanel button. And now that you are in your cPanel, you can now click subdomain because we're going to add subdomain in our uh, main domain. Just click this uh, subdomain button. And so now this is the page of your subdomain. Now, as you can see, this is your main domain. This is my main domain, denisedlanores.com. But I want to add a subdomain under my main domain so i'm just going to add today i would like to 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 build a a subdomain for a particular magazine so i'm just gonna name it magazine magazine so that's it and then click create okay now that you have already created your subdomain so when you need to install or you need to build your website this is going to be the link it's, it's going to be www.magazine.denislenorius.com now go back to your subdomain page there you can see these are my subdomains that i created uh, some weeks ago and now you go back to your cPanel and you click databases because this is where you're going to create username and user password and from there you will install your WordPress manually so just click this button and here it is this is the page of your database okay so I'm just going to um, write magazine as my database name. So keep in mind to save them somewhere in a in a word file or you know take down notes so you don't remember you don't forget them. Sorry. Okay, just create database. That's it. Go back because you still have to add or create username. So go down. And now you're going to create the username. Normally, usually I use numbers. You know, I, I feel safe when I use numbers. So, and then I'm gonna add password. But my passwords are like they're the same. That's it. And then create user. Then go back because you have to set the user in your database okay it is okay this one it's for magazine subdomain then add okay now you have to click all privilege, privileges and then make changes now that it's done go back to your subdomain page refresh it 
and then look for your magazine subdomain in here just click this okay now this is your database this is where you put or upload your WordPress plugin so you can see this is the upload button just select file and this is my WordPress plugin okay I'm gonna go back to my database and refresh let's see if oops if the uh, the WordPress has already been uploaded when it doesn't work I do it like a couple of times or I click it again upload it again there you go now just right click and extract the, the file here and close now you can delete this because we no longer use that and I'll open this folder so these are your files in your WordPress folder now we need to to move this to our subdomain so you need to select all and then move it so because our subdomain is magazine we're going to remove that and move it there okay now you go back and you can now delete this folder because we no longer use that and now you're done okay now I try to check if you have already installed the WordPress by typing magazine.denisehonorias.com okay now you have successfully um, uploaded the uh, WordPress plugin now we just need to install the, the WordPress on your subdomain okay so let's go so remember the database name and then the the username okay and the password so you can actually change the username password later okay run the installation type your site title so I'll just name it um, magazine then my username is my name and I can confirm to use weak password anyway I can change it later so my email address will be this and install WordPress log in and voila welcome to your wordpress dashboard so now you can start building your subdomain or your new sub website so for the next video i will show you how to build a website using a breezy pro so that's it guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time bye